My name is Jonathan Goforth, and today we're gonna to talk about tips and advice to help you sell more homes. So if you're a newer agent, we're gonna cover a lot of really good things that's gonna take your business to a whole new level. Thanks for watching my video. Please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. Here we go. Let's jump right into this video. So we're gonna talk about everything that's on this list and we're gonna end up with lead sources. But first, let's talk about your expectations because this might help speed up your career if we get this more in balance of where it needs to be. When I was first getting licensed, was 23 years ago, I had a job in sales. That company was going out of business. Uh, a lot of the other employees were already leaving. I didn't want another job. I wanted to be self-employed. Um, it's hard to become self-employed without a lot of money as an investment. So real estate's attractive. But most people just end up here, like me. It was a last resort. Hardly anybody goes to college to become a real estate agent. Now, I do have a college degree. Never crossed my mind back then that I might end up in real estate. Uh, which is ironic because most realtors I knew back then uh, were loaded. They made a lot of money doing this. They all seemed to drive Cadillacs. They had, uh, even today, Range Rovers, all kinds of fancy cars. Every realtor seems to live in a big expensive house and I wanted in. But my expectations of what this was, I didn't know what I was getting in for. I thought I'm gonna get licensed, I'm gonna join the big broker in town. They're gonna give me leads. They're gonna give me listings. They're gonna give me buyers. And it's just that easy. Oh, I was so wrong. <laughs> so my first year in real estate, I sold nothing. I was in my 20s, I sold nothing. It was really bad. Thank goodness I lived at home back then when I quit my job. My second year in real estate, I only sold one house. It was really, really bad. What happened along the way, I was creating a foundation though. I was doing everything I needed to do. It just took me longer. And so my third year, I started selling some houses. By year number four, I was selling over 100,000 a year. Now by the peak of my career, the most awesome um, honor I've ever had was in 2019, just uh, last year, I got to be in Forbes magazine as one of the top market leaders in the country representing uh, Kansas City. This year in March of 2020, I am in it again as one of the top 500 agents uh, representing the Midwest of Kansas City. So you can do this. And I know you're frustrated because I was really frustrated in the beginning. It's a lot easier to do real estate now and break into this as a new agent than it was back then. Back then, there was no social media and there were no iPhones, there was no texting, there was no e-signing. It was hard. It was much more time consuming 23 years ago than it is now. So examine what your expectations are in getting into this because you need to create a business plan and goals. This is for you. Your broker will help you do it to a point, but watching a lot of YouTube videos will help you more than anything. Get different ideas on what to do. Now I'm gonna tell you, here's what my my goals were. I, in the beginning, I just wanna make a lot of money. That's what I wanted. But now that I have a team of agents, what my goals are, my desire for the agents on my team is to make enough money to pay their bills. If they don't make enough money to pay their bills quickly, they're gonna quit. They're not gonna be around in five years. Now with a success rate of about 90% failure of uh, all small businesses, so you got a 10% success rate for all small businesses in the country on average that don't make it to five years. They linger and then they have to close up by five years. Uh, being a real estate agent similar because we're self-employed, we're small business owners. I think it's around 87% of what I've heard don't make it to five years. Now, maybe 70% uh, quit by year two, but that's because they don't do what I'm about to talk about. 
when you do a business plan, which is what I'm doing right now, we're getting ready for 2021, and I'm putting together my business plan of next year. But part of your business plan is how much money you're gonna spend. What are you gonna to do to advertise yourself? You are the brand. And everybody thinks, well, I sell houses. Well, not yet you don't. <laughs> if you don't have a whole bunch of clients, you're selling yourself. You are the brand. It's your image. You are the product. All these people out there that you think you're gonna go sell all these houses, they're gonna use some other agent. They don't even know you sell houses yet. So keep in mind, you are the product. You are the brand and it's you that you're advertising or they'll use some other agent. Now keeping that in mind, the number one thing, this is what your big secret is to this business of selling houses. If you want to sell a lot of houses, you've got to do it with consistency. That is the number one reason right there why most agents fail. They give up too soon. They don't have enough of a hard work ethic. They bring their bad habits from where they just came from at a job. A lot of people are fired from their previous job or multiple jobs, and they're tired of working for somebody else, so they get into real estate where they don't have a boss. I've seen that more than anything as to why agents get into real estate. The problem is their hard work ethic is not strong enough yet. In the beginning of this, I worked all the time. I did everything I was supposed to. It just didn't click at first. But by year three and four, I was making some serious money. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key to everything in life. If you want to learn an instrument, my kids are young, we're dealing with school at home, you know, COVID is going on, and fifth grade band is completely canceled. There is no band at all for my fifth grader. My sixth grader started band last year. We do band online, off videos. Do you have any idea how hard that is? But he can still learn how to play trumpet. I'm helping him. I'm teaching him how to play trumpet with the videos from the band director for sixth grade. I don't know how to play trumpet. <laughs> I've never played trumpet before. Now I was in band, but I will tell you if you're gonna play piano or any other instrument like trumpet, trombone, you've got to do it with consistency. You practice, not every day, but two or three times a week, you've got to practice. You have to practice. You can't do that once a month and expect to learn an instrument. The number one thing I think, if you know anyone who has lost a lot of weight and kept it off, those people would make a killing in real estate because they have mastered hard work, they know their expectations, and they are consistent. For months, they know exactly what it takes to be a small business owner. I applaud anyone who has lost a lot of weight and kept it off because there is nothing harder than that. Consistency. Consistent, it means a lot of different things. If you're doing open houses, that means an open house, I would think three to four times a month. Uh, you're hopefully doing them on Saturdays and Sundays. You do them until you can't do them anymore. You're so busy, you don't have time to do open houses. Consistency with um, contacting your name list, your sphere of influence. You contact them over and over and over and over and over. And when you think it's not working anymore because you're so frustrated, you keep going. That's what your expectation is. It's consistency. And that's what I want you to grasp. As you make your business plan, you're gonna get frustrated because it's not gonna happen fast. Now there's these one hit wonders out there that sell one or two houses quickly and life's awesome for them. But you'll notice a lot of them still do not make it for five years because they are not doing anything consistent yet. They just happen to lock into two or three really good sales fast, but they didn't have the hard work ethic and the plan in place to continue that. And it's awesome if you happen to get lucky at first and you do one or two awesome sales, but you have to work for it long term. We're gonna come back to consistency over and over and over because that is why agents fail. They get frustrated and they give up too soon. Another thing with your expectations, 
don't compare yourself to anyone else. I do this all the time. It's not healthy. It's frustrating. Now, I've noticed now a lot of agents compare themselves to me, which is a huge honor because we're all still competitive. But in the beginning, I was struggling in the beginning. I was so frustrated. It's amazing that I made it to year three. So if you're frustrated and you are just not feeling it happen yet, I get it. It's a, it's a business that will, you're gonna learn a lot about yourself in this business when you're new. Consistency is gonna be the hardest thing about everything you do. Let's talk about role playing. In the beginning, you need to learn some scripts. You need to know what to say. This is why a lot of agents, they don't wanna go on listing appointments because they're afraid. I love listings. I love listings more than I love working with buyers. I just thrive on listings. You know, you hear if you list, you last. Well, that's true. You can't make a long-term forever career on only buyers. You will exhaust yourself. But see, while you're out there showing buyers houses, your listings are selling. And so you're doing both at the same time. You need to role play. I role played out loud by myself in front of the mirror. I would read the contract. That's how I learned the contract. Eventually I could read it upside down. That's how I got to know the contract so well. That gave me confidence because I was young when I first started. I was in my 20s. Role playing with other agents in the office is gonna be crucial. It's gonna give you confidence in what to say and learning some scripts. Pull up some other YouTube videos on various scripts. Get ideas of what to say and then Let's talk about lead sources. What do you do? You've got to have some clients. Where are they going to come from? Let's talk about that next. So what I want you to do to transform your career is take this information, put together a business plan of what you're willing to do. Do it tonight. Don't waste time and jump into this. When you start uh, I'm, I'm going to post some more things in the video below, some videos to look at about your circle of influence. Take your COI list and I want you to contact them either through mailings or through calls. I want, I'm going to put a video how you put that list together. Did you know most realtors do not have their name list put together? That's what blows my mind because that's where most of your business is going to come from. It's hard to do that at first, so you're gonna have to put some effort into it. You're gonna use probably tax records, and I've got videos below. Please watch those because that's where your business needs to come from. Do it quickly, do it later tonight, and then jump into this. Don't waste time. This is the, the worst thing that agents will do. They spend too much time studying this. They think about it, but they don't do it. They spend too much time well, I think I could do this and this and this, and then I'm gonna role play with somebody next week, and then I probably should put together a, uh, a listing. Uh, gosh, how do I do a listing? I should probably sign up for some classes next month. Don't wait, just do it. Throw yourself into it. Most of this business is learning on the job. There's no way to learn everything up front. I still learn things every day, and I've been doing this 23 years. So take, that, do it consistently, and jump in and see how many buyers and how many listings you can get over the next 30 days. You will love the income you're going to have in 2021. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you so much. Please give me a like below and please subscribe to my channel.